What's up, you guys? It's Christian here, back with another video. This is going to be my 2020 ACC tournament predictions. I'm going to be doing predictions for all six Power Six conferences. You guys are going to have to bear with me here. <coughs> oh, sorry, I've been under the weather here lately. My throat's pretty sore, so I'm going to try to get this done for you guys. But anyway, let's go ahead and get into these. Uh, first off, we got Wake Forest and Pitt. Um, I'm going with Wake Forest there. I'm going to be honest. I don't know much about either of those two teams. But uh, I've heard better things about Wake Forest, if I'm remembering correctly, than Pitt. So I'll go with Wake Forest. Uh, Virginia Tech and North Carolina. This is going to be an upset for me here. I got North Carolina. Uh, if I'm correct, Virginia Tech's kind of been on a downhill slide lately. I might not be. Again, I really don't know here. But, you know, North Carolina's been terrible this year. But uh, give me them, you know, Win one game in the ACC tournament, I'd say it could happen. So give me North Carolina there. Uh, Clemson and Miami. I'll go Clemson there. They got a couple of big time wins this year, so I like Clemson there to beat Miami. Uh, in the eight nine matchup. Uh, Wake Forest and NC State. I'm going NC State. Obviously they're gonna they're gonna need to win a game or two, uh, to solidify their spot in the NCAA tournament. And uh, obviously they're gonna come out prepared and ready to go so I got NC State there over Wake Forest uh Notre Dame and Boston College I've got Notre Dame there uh don't really know much about either of these two teams either uh I just kind of went with Notre Dame just off a of gut feeling uh but yeah I've got Notre Dame there uh probably the conference I'm going to know most about is the SEC when it comes to these uh conference tournament predictions but yeah I don't really know much about either of these two teams but I ended up going with Notre Dame there kind of just based off a of gut feeling uh, North Carolina and Syracuse. I went ahead and went with Syracuse here. Uh, I know they played a couple weeks ago uh, at the Carrier Dome. I know Syracuse won that one. That was that game that <sighs> Brady and Edelman were FaceTiming variable. If you couldn't tell by the tone of my voice just now, I don't want Brady to the Titans. I'm kind of opening up to it, but it still doesn't mean I want it to happen. Anyway, uh, I've got Syracuse over North Carolina there. Uh, Florida State and Clemson. I've got Florida State there. Uh Obviously, they've got national championship aspirations, Final Four aspirations, all that stuff. Uh, and, yeah, I mean, I think Florida State definitely has the potential to do some damage in March. So, I've got Florida State there over Clemson. Uh, NC State and Duke. I've got Duke there getting it done. Uh, I know Duke's kind of been struggling here lately, but uh, give me Duke there over NC State. I think they charge to turn the corner and they beat NC State there and move on to the ACC semifinals. Notre Dame and Virginia, I'll go Virginia there. Virginia's really starting to turn it around. They were like on the bubble. If I remember correctly, they were on the bubble like a month ago, and now they're basically locked to get in. But I think they win this game either way. I've got Virginia over Notre Dame and Virginia advancing the, to the ACC semifinals. Uh, Louisville-Syracuse, I've got Louisville there. Uh, Louisville's probably one of the best teams in the country as well. Uh I really don't see Syracuse giving them much of a challenge there, if I'm being honest. Uh, so, yeah, I've got Louisville moving on there to the semifinals. Semifinal number one between Florida State and Duke. I've got a upset here. Most people wouldn't actually call it an upset, but based on the seedings, it's an upset. I've got the four-seed Duke over the one-seed Florida State. Uh, I just think Duke is a little bit better than Florida State right now. Uh, I know that's kind of weird to say because their teams are kind of going in two different directions, but I don't know. I just kind of have a gut feeling about Duke uh, in this Florida State matchup, probably because the one time I did, wa I did watch when these two teams played at Cameron Indoor and Duke, I'm not going to say dominated that game, but they were uh, the better – looked like they were the better team for the majority of that game. So I've got Duke there over Florida State. Uh, semifinal number two, Louisville and Virginia. I have another upset based on the seedings. I have the three-seed Louisville over num the two-seed Virginia. I know these teams just played on Saturday at Virginia, and Virginia won that game. But I think Louisville gets their revenge. I think they w win this game here and on in the neutral site in Greensboro. And I think Louisville advances to the ACC championship game where... They will play Duke, and as you can see, I have Duke here winning the ACC. I know a lot of people are probably going to disagree with me on that, but it's all everyone's opinion. Uh, I just kind of—I know this kind of seems like going to seem like a bandwagon type pick, but honestly, I think 
there's three teams that can win this tournament, in my opinion. Florida State, Louisville, and Duke. So, uh, there that's th- that for you also. Uh, but, yeah, I just think Duke's a little bit better than Louisville. Uh, even though they're the four seed in the ACC, I still think they have a good chance to make some noise in March. And that's why I'm taking Duke to win the ACC championship. So, I hope you guys enjoyed my predictions. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for... Probably three more conferences, and then I'll do the do two more on Wednesday. I, I haven't really decided yet, but at least two more conferences tomorrow. So I'll see you then. Peace out.